Howdy, I'm Matt and in this video we are going to be talking Mini Skywalker and the biggest point for you uh, is around the tea towel and as you might already spot down there that is not a normal tea towel and we will be having a chit chat about that in a few moments time. Uh, by the way, give you a heads up, this is actually the second uh, Mini Skywalker which I've owned, the other one's over there actually in the window, I'll be getting that one out later today. Uh, and. The, the one thing about uh, a tea towel model, a model which has this high tea, this tail to fin at the top, uh, is that they are really fragile. Uh, and the mods which I've been undone on this one, I hope you can pick a few little tips up away uh, so that you can make yours not as fragile as mine. Now, uh, I'll give you a quick heads up. So this is a tiny little model. I think it's 815 mil wingspan. Might be a bit longer. It's that long. <laughs> uh, wingspan model. And uh, you might be a little bit disappointed because this one's not going to be mental fast. This was not my goal for this one. Uh, the other one over there, that's a whole different story. But this one, uh, I've got a little race star, uh, 1806, 2200 and... No, 2280 kV motor uh, with a, it's actually found a little uh, 6x3 carbon fibre prop on there uh, in the box while I was searching for that one, so I've pulled that one out, that's what we're having, uh, which is uh, about the perfect size to be honest. Anyway, so that's the motor which I've gone for that and I will be pairing that up with a 20 amp ESC-ish, whatever I find in the flight box to be honest. Uh, a couple other little notes about this thing uh, is that very simple to build, but it, the, these things, I, I do feel myself that they need modifying in a few different ways. Uh, but just cover the quick, quickly cover the basics. Put it together with you who pour, really straightforward. So it's just two halves of the wing, uh, and it's a contact adhesive. So you put the stuff on the surfaces, uh, spread it out, stick the two parts together, pull the two parts apart leave it to dry for 10 minutes or so and then be really careful and very quick to stick them back together again uh, and then never come and undone again. Uh, the same for the tea towel, we put that piece in there, you just put some, sand it up a little bit, put the glue in, like I said, leave it for 10 minutes and off your toodles. Now, let's talk about, uh, oh, one other thing as far as electronics go, uh, Turnigy TJY144 a tiny lot of servos, I hope that focuses for you. Uh, in there, I had four of those uh, in the servos box, so that's why I've been in used. Now, this model did come with uh, it's a it was a, I think it was a glass fiber rod all the way on, on the front, but it was so bendy, it was silly. So, um, <laughs> the theme for this model has been carbon, uh, and along uh, back here is uh, some four five mil uh, carbon fiber strip. Uh, and that has really stiffened up these wings. Uh, they were so loose, uh, to say the least. Now, one other thing which I will be doing uh, is putting some plastic uh, along the front edge of here and some plastic uh, back here as well. And the reason I'm going to be putting some plastic on there is because the wing is held on with elastic bands and these this is foam, it's very, very thin uh, and it will disintegrate. So I will be using some ID cards uh, on there and on the front edge just to make the wing last longer if that makes sense. Uh, also, I haven't put any paint on this one just yet. I've got a whole selection of cans up there uh, and uh, we're going to do a little bit of a wild colour scheme. Once I've, once, I've been in, put, once I've been and painted it, I will be putting the sellotape all the way along the leading edge of this wing uh, because we might have one or two arguments with bushes, etc, etc. Anyway, let's talk about this tea towel. So, uh, you'll see here, and I'll, I'll pick it up so you can see it a little bit better. So, number one, you'll see the cable coming in from the servo up here, all the way along. It's, uh, it's not a very neat job, uh, and I've just used hot glue to keep that in, uh, and I did have to, to extend the servo extent wire perhaps a bit too long. <laughs> so that's come all the way down there and out the other side. Uh, Oops-a-daisy. Uh, anyway. Uh, Let's talk about the mods on this one. Now there is a, a glass fibre tube which runs down this back section so it is quite stiff as it is. The issue which I've had uh, with the other one uh, and I'm sure you'll have with yours is that this tea towel section is just, well, was so flimsy. Uh, and what I've been and done, so first of all you will see uh, on the back tail section I've put a strip of carbon. Now the, the, the trick here is used to, to use strips of carbon 
uh, to stop the flex going that way because the strip of carbon it's like a metal ruler uh, is that it will flex very easy left and right but you try bending it like that on its end and it won't bend at all or it snaps if it, it, uh, its limits anyway so that's why I've been put there carbon fiber strip up there then I noticed that it here just in front of the servo can you see just there that was also really flexible because I have set this one up for uh, to be actually use the rudder. Now, if I'm not used, not if I hadn't been using the rudder, the foam little seal just there would have kept this back section probably quite rigid. But no, uh, I, I'm using the rudder for this one. I'm going to be a cheat, a cheat, lemon eater, and use a rudder on this one. Uh, so I have put an extra bit of carbon strip there. Uh, in the actual top fin itself, uh, I have no surprise more carbon fiber strip, little three mil carbon fiber strip going from. The center section, it does cross over in the middle, going out to these edges as well. Uh, and then what I've been and done is, and I think this is the bit which really stiffens it up, and you'll see that these two rods just here, okay, so I'm going to put it up right like that. There. You're, oops, I've hit the camera. Apologies. There we go. You'll see these two rods either side, and that really does stiffen up this whole T-tail section amazingly well. And my tip for you is, that number one, get the model sat down, and get it flat on the work surface, and then get your carbon rod, uh, and I'll put some links to the carbon, fi carbon fiber rods, because it, they're just super cheap. Uh, and I'll put the, and I'll put some links to the strips in the video description as well, and they will be affiliate links on Banggood, just for 100% clarity. Anyway, as you can tell, I get through a lot of carbon fiber. Those two supports going down there, what I did was just that I marked off the same place on both sides, so just used the, well, I, I I'm going to like, <laughs> uh, you should probably use a ruler, I, I kind of did it eye with a pen, <laughs> if I'm honest, and went, oh that looks about right on that side, flipped it over and went, yeah that's about right on that side, and made two marks and went from there, so uh, it worked for me, may or may not work for you, anyway, what the point was, the little tip which I was trying to make is that you, you eye up where the rod needs to be and then you get, use a drill with a drill piece in there and then put it at the same angle and then drill down for this bottom piece of the fuselage and that's how you can get the carbon fiber rod to cross over in the bottom uh, on the tail of the model and put, become a really really strong fix back there uh, and it does well there is some movement in there and that's the whole tail section itself moving uh, but I can assure you it's an awful lot more rigid uh, than what it would have been uh, had it not had those extra bits of carbon in them. Uh, one note which I'd like to actually raise my hand up on is that I did moan in the unboxing video about using these little control ho uh, control horns. I don't think they're that bad, actually. For such a lightweight model, uh, I think putting anything else on them would have been complete overkill. Uh, and I've put far too much CA glue in them, uh, so I don't think they're going to pull out or come out anytime soon. Uh, we'll see how those do long term. Uh, and yeah, that's it. I'll pop that on there so you can have a quick nose at it. Obviously, I've not finished it yet, uh, but there she goes. She's not a big model by any stretch of the imagination. I'm not going to put the nose on because I'm going to glue, uh, waiting for the Yoohoo pull a second to, to dry up here for the, the catch for the canopy. But she's a diddy little thing. Uh, and like I was saying, Colin flies his, we well, painted his yellow, so we nicknamed it the budgie. Uh, you can get like 30 some minutes flight time out of it. It's <laughs> just flying around and around and around and just goes on forever. Uh, so I, I'm kinda, I kind of like the idea of that to be honest. So what I'm going to be doing in mine is that in the nose section you can fit, believe it or not, so that's a 1300 3S, you can fit a 1300 mini outfit 3S in the nose very, very easily in fact you probably fit a 2200 3 s now, which would be way too heavy at this model, I hasten to add. You've got to think about wing loading. That said, I do have some 2S uh, and 3S 18650, those Lion battery packs, uh, already made up. And I am kind of thinking is that if I had to set this up with a little Lion battery, and I've not, not got the biggest motor in the world on the back, you're saying that's probably bigger than Colin's one he's using, uh, and if I go a little bit steady with it, I could be in the 30 minute window as well, just using bits and bobs which I've already got here. So I'm quite, I'm, yeah, looking forward to chucking this one. Uh, all pretty straightforward, nothing really complicated. It, it's just that tea towels are just crap. 
there's no other words for them, they're not very good. Especially on a tiny little diddy model like this, hence the, uh, a couple of minutes, I'll be honest with you, probably about half an hour to put some carbon fibre in there. Uh, and I did put at least an extra piece of carbon along the rear edge as well uh, to give it a little bit more authority for the elevator. Uh, and I think that was half an hour well spent. So, yeah, a few little bits to tidy up on this one. Uh, we'll be giving it a spray job of unknown colours right now. Uh, it will probably be quite bright. <laughs> uh, and we'll go out and ch chuck it for a maiden. I'm... I, I'm looking forward to it. I'm, I'm going to be really, I'm really curious on what kind of flight times I'm going to get out of it uh, and what kind of trouble we can get ourselves into it with it as well. Oh, uh, as far as FPV goes, uh, I will be using this one for FPV, but like I said, I'm just waiting for the glue just to drop up and using that Yoohoo pour stuff. The, oh, and go care for that Yoohoo pour stuff. It looks like pee pee stains all the way on the scene. Uh, anyway, besides that, Super Cheap does work. Uh, I will be putting an all-in-one FPV camera up here on the nose. Now, I need to look into the FPV box which I've got underneath the desk. If I've got a TX-03, that will be my ideal all-in-one camera to go on there. Uh, and the reason why it will be my ideal one on there because it will be up to 200 milliwatts. Uh, I know it's got a bit of a fish eye, so it's quite a wide one. Uh, but we're trying to keep it light. We're trying to keep it roughly and if rough, loosely energy efficient uh, and I know the TXO3s work quite well so I will have a good route around in that box because I did dig out uh, what was it the EF01 uh, and they are crap not very good uh, just excuse my language there they're not very good at all uh, so yeah there, there's good little all-in-one cameras and there's definitely not very good ones anyway that is my progress on the Mini Skywalker so far and I'm just going to leave that up there on the screen so you can see what I've been and done. So you'll see that I've got that extra bit of carbon going across there. Uh, that was just because it was really quite flexible back there. Uh, and then you'll see that you've got the carbon in the actual top tail fin itself. Then on the opposite side we've got a piece going up the vertical stabiliser. We have a piece up underneath the rear servo control horn as well so that when that servo control horn moves we have extra authority uh, in the elevator fin and I did bend that really really well so it was nice and free as well. And the final one which is probably the most like strongest or adds the most rigidity uh, is these two carbon rods going down vertically uh, through the tail so that we end up with a T-tail which looks like that and it's way way more rigid than what it would have been. So yeah, it's only a £16 model, so we can't really grumble about this. And it, again, it's T-tails. We all know that T-tails are not particularly uh, strong in the back end. Uh, and uh, with that said, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So any questions or comments which you have about the Mini Skywalker, please just ask in the comments section underneath this video. And I'll see you again shortly. From myself, Matt, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. Cheerios!